Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I am talking about Burden of Truth, season number one, episode number one, Wake Up Call. This episode directed by Jeff Wano. And here we have a new show starring Kristen Kriuk. We all, when I first time I saw her, she was playing Lana Lang on Smallville. I think, I think this might be the third show she has on the CW. First it was Smallville, then it was Beauty and the Beast, and now she got Burden of Truth. And this time she plays a lawyer. And I think this might be the first time it's not like sci-fi related either. Yeah. I mean, other than that, that movie she did where she played Chang Lee, which was, which was terrible. Everything she pretty much done was almost like sci-fi fantasy related. I think she played Snow White at one time too. and So, every, so this is the first time I see her play a regular person. Oh, huh, interesting. So she plays, um, so Kristen Kerr plays um, Joanna um, Hanley. And she's a lawyer. Big time lawyer. She, she, she grew up in this small town. And her, her father has a bad relationship with this town. I don't know what he did or what his family did. But the Hanleys don't seem to get along well in this town. And so, so they left. And she became this big time lawyer. And so now a lot of girls in this small town are getting sick. And they're blaming the company that she's representing. Because I think these girls are taking these, um, these, these drugs for, um, I guess, to help them. When they had, for, for, I kept them, I guess, for, so they could have sex, like safe sex. And so whatever it was, it was doing, it's causing them, these girls to have strange tics and spasms. They had, they had no control over their body. They have, they have seizures. And so they, they're blaming this drug. And she comes to the small town to represent. Now, she, since she grew up there, a lot of people know her. And they're, they're, they're close to her. But now they're kind of disappointed in her because they feel as though she's representing the bad guy. She represents the big corporation that's hurting their girls, and so and so they see her, somebody who grew up there, and they know her, and they feel just, they feel like let down that she's not she's not coming here to, to save them. And you had this this um this this, this small time um lawyer there named B Billy Billy Crawford, who's played by Peter Peter Mooney, and he he grew up there too, but he but he stayed there, and he pretty much she's trying to be the champion for the town, the lawyer trying to um go out against the big corporation. Turns out, now a lot of the times, most times these shows, it is the, the big corporation who actually is the bad guy, who actually is the one who's causing it. And you got this, and the, and the lawyer who represents them is also very sleazy as well too. So you don't really like them, and so you got the so you got the hero who's a small town lawyer going up against this big corporation, and you're rooting for the and you're rooting for the um the small town lawyer to to, to, to triumph and win. But this time it's different because you actually do like. Um, Kristen, Kristen Stewart's character, Joanna, you actually do like her. She's not really a bad person. She's just doing her job. She's just doing her job. And, and, and so, the way I see how people are treating her when she's going through the situation because she's just doing her job. It's, it's, you you kind of feel bad for her. I mean, sometimes, sometimes they put it on a little bit too thick, a little bit too much. They're trying to put it on a little bit too much. But, but at the time, you understand it at the same time, too, because, it, it, because the girls are, are, are getting sick. They don't know what's causing it. And they, and they think they think it's this corporation, and so that's the bad guys to them. So therefore, they got to go down. But the, the twist in this in this episode, I'm gonna spoil it right here, is the corporation was not at fault. It wasn't the corporation at all that was causing these girls to get sick. And so now, you got now we got to figure out the whole mystery is what's causing these girls to go sick. And this is like pretty much the pilot episode. And this is this is starting up for the season. Of what's going to happen and what's going now. Now the show is, 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 was predictable. You actually knew where it was going to go because you knew since Joanna came from this small town that she's going to end up helping them at the same time too because she's seen these girls going through the situation and certain things she had to do for her job was a little, I want to say a little bit dirty, a little bit dirty, but she is understandable at the same time too. You can see the guilt that she's feeling that she left a lot of her friends behind and didn't even contact them anymore or any information what's going on and that's the first time they've seen her in a long time she's seen like she's the enemy and so she's trying to like kind of make up for that and I don't, and there's still some mystery going on with with, with, the, with the Hanley family and what, what what problems they had there and why people don't like them that much so that's a mystery there too so I guess was, I think it was a first a great a good first start you got you got to know who was who's involved you still don't know what's actually causing the girls to get sick, but it is a mystery to help you keep going forward and see I think where things going to go. Because you already knew that she was going to come back to the small town and help out. You already knew it was going to happen. There's no mystery there. You just didn't know exactly what's going to lead to that moment in time. What's going to lead to that moment. So, 
I think the ad thing was was fine. Um, you get the it was, it was it was okay, and um, the story seems very interesting and compelling, make you want to move forward. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't like mind blowing, blew my mind out of the, out of the water, but it it made me curious, made me interested for the for the next episode. So if you have watched this episode, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Burning of Truth. And are you? I I, I, I want to see where this goes and what actually is causing these girls to be sick. So that's, I think that's pretty interesting. So this, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So get, like I said, give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, bam, subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. It's like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.